everyone, I'm Emily and I work in the Children's Department at the Defiance Public Library. Today I'm going to share with you some of our new chapter books that are available for you to check out. This month's chapter books features characters who are facing conflicts with their family or friends. Some conflicts are more serious, like dealing with a parent who is in the hospital or having parents who separate while other conflicts arise from jealousy or a misunderstanding among friends. These books offer stories that are relatable and enjoyable. Of a Feather by Dana Lawrence, published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Rufus, a great horned owl, and Rennie, a young girl, become friends and help each other face their fears. Rufus is a great horned owl but he doesn't feel like he's that great. Unlike his sister, Rufus is not a good hunter. He declares himself the worst owl in the history of Aldum. One day, Rufus's mother is captured by humans, and Rufus is left all alone in a forest far from home. Rennie's mom is in a psychiatric treatment center, and she can no longer stay with her grandma. Rennie is sent to live with an aunt she has never met. Rennie learns that her aunt is a falconer. Her aunt raises a hawk and begins to plan for passage bird season. Rennie is fascinated with the birds and her aunt starts training her to become a falconer too. Rufus and Rennie meet when Rufus is caught in one of Rennie's aunt's traps. Rufus is injured. Rennie and her aunt bring him home to rehabilitate him so he can be released back into the forest. To see the relationship of Rufus and Rennie unfold, check out Of a Feather by Dana Lawrence. Violet and the Pie of Life by Deborah Green, published by Holiday House. Violet is a 12-year-old who loves math and her family. One night, Violet's dad leaves without much of an explanation to Violet. Violet begins to think of the probability of her parents getting back together in various situations. Violet's best friend Mackenzie encourages Violet to try out for the Wizard of Oz. Violet gets the part of the Cowardly Lion while Mackenzie is cast as a monkey. Allie, who Mackenzie sees as her mortal enemy, gets the part of Dorothy. Violet starts to see that Allie is not the mean girl Mackenzie said she was. To help her deal with her family and friendship problems, Violet turns them into bar graphs, flow charts, and equations. To see how Violet solves her problems, check out Violet and the Pie of Life by Deborah Green. Our next chapter book is The Retake by Jen Kalanita, published by Delacorte Press. Imagine if you had an app on your phone that would allow you to time travel. That's what happens to Zoe in the retake. Zoe and Laura had been best friends since first grade and they were now getting ready to start seventh grade. Zoe and Laura usually spend the whole summer together, but not this year. Zoe and her family went on vacation and Laura was in a musical. Zoe starts to worry that she may be losing her best friend. Laura stops responding to her texts and starts hanging out with another group of girls, whom Zoe calls the Drama Queens. Zoe has a terrible first day at school. She's forgotten her bus pass, her class schedule. She gets her phone taken away. She spills her tray at lunch and misses the bus home. Zoe is hurt when Laura isn't there to help her. When Zoe gets her phone back, and turns it on, she discovers a new app has been installed. Just before bed, Zoe opens the new app and clicks on a picture of her and Laura from the last week of school at a sleepover. Zoe clicks on an arrow and suddenly she's back at the sleepover. This is Zoe's chance for a retake to save her friendship with Laura. To read more of Zoe's retake, check out The Retake by Jen Kalanita. The Sea in Winter by Christine Day, published by Heartdrum. Maisie has always loved ballet and works hard at rehearsals and auditions. 
An accident leads to a knee injury, and Maisie is facing a future she never could have imagined. Following her knee injury, Maisie starts to slip into a dark mood and feels like her family could never understand. Maisie and her family go on vacation to the Macaw community where her mother grew up. The cold ocean trip with her loving and supportive family may be just what Maisie needs to shake off her dark mood and begin to feel like herself again. Check out The Sea in Winter by Christine Day. Across the Pond by Joy McCullough, published by Athenum Books for Young Children. Callie is moving from San Diego to Scotland. Callie's new house in Scotland just happens to be a castle. Callie can't wait to move and sees this as an opportunity to recreate herself. Once arriving in Scotland, Callie realizes that life in a castle isn't what she thought it would be. The castle is run down and freezing. Callie's first chance at making a new friend with the gardener's granddaughter doesn't go well, and Callie starts to doubt that she'll ever be able to make new friends. Callie asks her parents if she can be homeschooled to avoid the whole friends-making problem. Callie's parents agree on the condition that she participates in a social activity. Callie decides she'll join a birding club. Once again, Callie's friendship problems follow her when she and the club leader clash. Will Callie lose her new friends again? Will this new place ever start to feel like home? Check out Across the Pond by Joy McCullough.